Negotiations continuing today in Eagle Point as the teachers and administrators work to reach an agreement before a strike deadline. NBC 5's Laura Cavanaugh is standing by now live from Eagle Point with the latest. Laura. Dan, we're live outside the District 9 offices and at this hour, still no deal. With less than seven hours until that 6 a.m. strike deadline, union leaders and district officials tell me they are working hard. Take a look behind me. They're working hard, burning the midnight oil, really trying to hammer out a new contract in one last chance bargaining session. The countdown is on. On the eve of a looming strike, Eagle Point union members are holding out hope for what they call a fair deal. There's still that hope that, you know, that they will settle and give us a fair contract. It's not Billy Kane's first rodeo. She's been driving a school bus in the district for the last 28 years, and she says she's no stranger to the strike process. Let me keep my job. Let me keep my insurance. Those, yeah, I love those kids. They're, they're part of my life. Pain sticking point, subcontracting to first student busing. My understanding is they're a British owned company and I think my tax dollars need to stay right here in Jackson County. The nearly 100 EPEA members that were standing together and strong with their picket signs earlier Monday evening are now home awaiting a call from their leaders. The two sides locking horns on this new contract since March of last year. They're big issues. Uh, subcontracting out our transportation is one issue. Uh, the classroom instructional minutes, for example, go into a six period day at our high school and prorating the insurance for our hourly workers. The district citing a desire for increased flexibility and a bad economy for their stance on the issues. Is that we're trying to maintain that our class sizes and we've been very proud of the fact that we've had you know full year of uh, school days. And if no contract settlement is reached by 6 a.m. on Tuesday, teachers have said they will strike. I really don't think it's going to go our way. I really do believe we're going to go out on strike. I'm hoping that uh, the school board will sign a contract with the teachers and just get it done and over with. I think both sides are um, working toward reaching, a, reaching an agreement. Um, I mean, we, we've always been committed um, to doing that, and we're committed to staying here all night if that's what it takes. But if by 6 a.m. on Tuesday, if no contract settlement has been reached, the Eagle Point Education Association membership says they are ready to do whatever it takes, picket signs in hand. Then I walk, I strike, I walk the line. Now we are back here live. Union leaders say they will stay here at the bargaining table until the sun comes up, if that's what it takes. Now district insiders, they just told me historically things actually have been settled at the 11th hour, perhaps even 5.59 a.m. So they're getting ready to brew that coffee in the 11th hour. And also to keep parents informed, the district has also created a 24-hour hotline with the recorded message or even live personnel. Now get a pen and a pad of paper handy. This is to keep parents informed strike information as well as classes. Remember, classes were canceled on Monday and Tuesday, and then after that, it's anybody's guess. So that number, that hotline for staffing and strike info is 541-830-6697. Again, 541-830-6697. We will, of course, keep you updated on NBC5 News at sunrise. Stay tuned to that as well. Live in Eagle Point, Laura Cavanaugh, NBC5 News.